Hi there, I'm Sam from solar.com and today I'm going to tell you why I think New York State, the 43rd sunniest state in America, is going to surpass California as the best state to go solar in 2023. All right, so how could this be possible? How could New York, with less than 4,000 hours of sunshine per year, be a better state to go solar than California with over 5,000 hours of sunshine per year? Well, it really boils down to three things. State incentives, electricity prices, and state's net metering policies. So in this video, we'll explore how New York has a chance to become the best state for solar savings in 2023, and how you can get, on, get in on the action. And we'll start off by looking at New York's uh, state solar incentives. So what New York lacks in sunshine, it more than makes up for with solar incentives. Uh, and our first one, we'll go back to our old friend, the 30% federal solar tax credit. Now this is available everywhere to homeowners all over the country, but since it is the biggest incentive for going solar, uh, it's worth mentioning again. Uh, let's say you spent $25,000 on your solar system. Uh, when you file your taxes for the year that the system was deemed operational, which means it was inspected and passed, uh, when you file your taxes for that year, you can claim a tax credit worth 30% of that cost. So 30% of $25,000, $7,500. And you can use this tax credit to lower your tax liability, which either means you'll pay less in tax or you'll get a larger refund. But essentially, it reduces the cost of that system from $25,000 to $17,500. So before we get too in the weeds with tax credit stuff, I'm just gonna urge you to consult a licensed tax professional with any questions regarding tax credits or your tax liability. Uh, it's always good to know your situation ahead of time. In addition to the federal solar tax credit, New York has a state tax credit worth 25% of the cost of your system. Now this works really similar to the federal one, but there's two main differences. One is that you claim it on your state tax return instead of your federal uh, income tax return. The second difference is that the state tax credit has a $5,000 cap. So if you purchase a solar system for $20,000, uh, your tax credit would be worth $5,000 because 5,000 is 25% of 20,000. Now, if you purchase a system worth $25,000, your tax credit is still $5,000 because that's the cap. Now, the amazing thing about going solar in New York is that you can combine these two tax credits to reduce the cost of your system by 55%. That's more than half off. Here's how it works. Let's take our $20,000 system that we used before. Now, your federal tax credit will be worth $6,000. Your state tax credit will be worth $5,000 for a combined $11,000 in tax credits. $20,000 system minus 11,000 in tax credits, that's $9,000 and 55% off. All right, and incentives don't end at tax credits. There's also the NYSUN Megawatt Block Program. Now this is run through NYSERDA and it's an upfront rebate based on the size of your solar system. Now this uh, incentive program is broken into three regions. There's Con Edison, Long Island, and upstate New York, and each region has blocks that determine how much the incentive is worth. So the Long Island block filled out in 2016, and there's no longer incentive in that region. Uh, Con Edison is in its ninth and final block, which is worth 20 cents per kilowatt of solar capacity installed. And upstate New York is in its 11th and final block, and it's worth 30 cents per kilowatt of solar capacity installed. So let's go back to our $20,000 system and say that that is five kilowatts in size. In the Con Edison region, your NY Sun incentive would be worth $1,000. And in the upstate region, the incentive would be worth $1,500. And again, the NY Sun incentive can be combined with your tax credits. So let's say that you're a Con Edison customer uh, with the $20,000 system. NY Sun incentive knocks the upfront cost down to $19,000. And it's important to note that your tax credits are based on what you paid for the system. So now your tax credits are gonna change a little bit. For a $19,000 system, your federal solar tax credit 
is going to be worth $5,700 and your state tax credit is going to be worth $4,750. So when you combine all those, your net cost comes down to $8,550, which is only 43% of the original cost of the system. So you just got a 57% discount on solar. And guess what? We're not done yet. New York also has a sales tax exemption, which would save you about $800 on a $20,000 system. On top of that, there's a property tax exemption for residential solar systems. So that means you won't pay additional property tax uh, on the value that the solar system adds to your home. So that's pretty cool. You get to raise your home value with the solar system without paying extra property tax for it. And actually, in New York City, there's a property tax abatement program that reduces how much tax you owe for people that go solar before January 1st, 2024. So about a year left in that program. Now, the abatement is worth 5% of the installed cost of your system. So again, if we go to our $20,000 system, we knock $1,000 off for the NY Sun program. The abatement is going to be worth 5% of $19,000 uh, every year for four years. So that's 950 per year uh, over four years for $3,800. Again, I'm not a tax professional and I urge you to consult a licensed tax professional with any questions re regarding tax credits, uh, abatements, uh, exemptions, uh, and your tax liability. All right, so that's a lot of math and numbers and dry tax language. Uh, so here's the bottom line. New York has by far the best uh, incentives for going solar and it's not even a close race. So that's the first thing that makes it a great state for solar savings. The second thing is electricity prices. Now let's take a quick look at those. So according to the Energy Information Administration, New York State ranks eighth in electricity prices with an average retail rate of 23 cents per kilowatt hour. And since nearly half of New York's electricity generation comes from natural gas, it was especially uh, vulnerable to rate hikes based on energy inflation in 2022. In fact, in September 2022, Con Edison cited natural gas prices when it, uh, when it announced rate hikes that amounted to 22% in New York City and 27% in Westchester County in one year. Statewide, New Yorkers saw a 17% increase in electricity rates from November 2021 to November 2022. That amounts to about $350 per year uh, on an average electricity bill. So 2022 was a crazy year for energy inflation, but it is important to note that uh, on average, electricity prices rise two to 5% a year. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see that genie going back in the bottle. Uh, and that's where solar comes in. Basically by going solar, you can lock in a low and predictable rate for your electricity for 25 years. Uh, and basically hedge against energy inflation. So let's go back to our handy five kilowatt system <clears throat> from earlier. Now factoring in New York's unsunny climate and uh, the panels naturally degrading over time, we can expect this system to produce around 150,000 kilowatt hours of electricity over its 25 year warranted life. Now, if you take that uh, take the net cost of 8550 and you divide it by that total production, you get a rate of around six cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. That's right. So by going solar in New York, you can drop your rate to around six cents per kilowatt hour instead of paying 23, 24 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. And that is what we call in the solar industry a no brainer. Now, the third and final thing we're going to talk about, and this is the thing that I think is going to slingshot New York past California as the best state to go solar this year is net metering. And net metering is the billing structure that allows solar owners to earn credit for the excess solar production that they push onto the grid. And they can use that credit to offset the cost of the electricity they pull off the grid at night when their solar panels aren't producing. Now, this is especially important in an unsunny state like New York. Uh, traditionally, net metering policies have been one to one, which means the price uh, for your exports, the energy you put on the grid, is the same as the price of the imports, the energy you pull off the grid. But in December 2022, California essentially gutted its net uh, metering policy for the state's three biggest utility providers uh, by voting to reduce the rate of exports, the price of exports by around 75% on average. 
I broke it all down in this video up here, uh, so I'm not going to rehash it all together. But the takeaway is that the savings for going solar in California will be much, much lower under this new net metering policy. Now, New York is also transitioning its net metering policy, but it's doing it much more gradually. And actually right now, homeowners have that go solar have two options for being compensated for their uh, solar exports. Now, the first one is a net metering program called Phase 1 plus CBC. Now, this is essentially a traditional net metering program. However, it includes a small fee based on the size of your system and your utility provider. So if you have a five kilowatt system uh, in Con Edison, the fee comes to about $4.77 $4 per month and around $56 per year. Now in the end, in the big picture, this is a pretty small fee to pay for a one-to-one -one net metering program that is very favorable to solar owners. Now the other option is a new billing system called the Value of Distributed Energy Resources uh, AKA VDARE or the value stack. Now in the value stack, the price of your solar exports, the, put, the energy you put on the grid with your solar system, that's based on a combination of factors that include wholesale electricity prices at the time, environmental benefits, uh, how much your solar system reduces wear on the grid, how much it reduces the need for new infrastructure. It's a whole bee's nest of uh, factors. Frankly, it's quite confusing, and the bottom line is it's it's less favorable to uh, to homeowners than than the than the first option. The good news is during this transition, New Yorkers still have the option to lock in a one-to-one -one net metering program for the next 20 years. Now, this option probably won't be on the table forever, so it's really worth looking into solar uh, while it's still around. Just ask your friends in California. So the big question is, will New York pass California as the best state to go solar in 2023? You know my vote, I think it will, uh, but really it's impossible to say. So much of solar savings has to do with electricity prices and how much they rise over 25 years. Now I do have my Magic 8 Ball from 1995 over there, but it hasn't really told me much about where electricity prices are going in New York versus California. But just the fact that we're comparing New York with California in terms of solar savings should really tell you something. Uh, so if incentives that add up to more than 50% off your system and a one-to-one -one net metering policy and no more utility rate hikes sound good to you, then head to solar.com. On solar.com, you can team up with an energy advisor to design a custom system and use that to generate quotes from uh, vetted local installers and see how much you can save by going solar. I'm Sam from solar.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me questions in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.